entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Burritos. We're talking with burritos. Burritos. We're talking with burritos. Burritos. Alright, you guys, this is Talking with Burritos, episode 16. And I am Jerry JJ Wayne Graham. And to my left, y'all can't see it, but I'm just going to say to my left. <laughs> I'm Adam Adol Snyder. Or AKA Adam Poe. Adam Poe. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say something else. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, was like, I thought you, <clears throat> I thought you were going to be like, and, the, and, and right and, in front of me. And the right in honky. front of me is Christopher the Rupal. All right, you guys, in this episode, we got to <laughs> talk about gridiron and gladiators, okay? So basically, this conversation, we had a conversation, I think it was at work, you and I, right? Yeah. And weren't we talking about spectator sport? Yeah. Um, uh, our nation's spectator sport, our best, or, or our nation's sport versus the spectator sport. Technically, that's what they say, right? Yeah, it's America's yeah. pastime. America's pastime. But yet everyone, no, no one really likes watching that. Well, do mm-hmm. they? There are people who still care to watch you it. some yeah. people. So we have that. So, yeah, baseball. That's our nation's pastime. You hear like a lot of great stories about baseball of the past and Babe Ruth and the Yankees and every other sport out there that um, I really, yeah, whatever. But I've never been a big fan. But yet everyone we, but yet our spectator sport, a major one, is one which is really violent and <laughs> <laughs> involves a lot of injury and pain, such as you would say, you know. The remnant, you know, if you go back into history, they always say that we're like everyone out there. Let's say this nation, we idolize ourselves or we try to mimic, you know, what people did in Rome because technically a lot of civilizations do. They model Rome and Greece, but basically Rome for that. And what we were thinking about is like, oh, hey, spectator sport. So like gladiators versus. Football players. Versus American Gladiators. Yeah, or just like, oh, that TV show. <laughs> um, so, and like, like, and it's brutal. It's like, some of these, it's very brutal. But yeah, what is it in that we, is it like really the the game that we enjoy when we, when we watch football? Or do we just want to see people get hurt? I enjoyed the game. <laughs> I enjoy the game. I enjoy yeah. the game too. But you do but like to see somebody get rocked though, right? Yes. You ever know, like when you see that one playback of that guy, of like the quarterback getting sacked. Yeah. That's always so pleasurable. Yeah. Uh, it's pleasurable, but then kind of not because you know that they're not protected and that dude just annihilated him. It's like oh. a 290 pound man against this one dude who's like maybe. 180 on a good day <laughs> with his little weak pads. And he's like, like if you ever see a, a, a kicker get hit. Oh, it's pretty man, sad. That one's, because, that you know, they have sad. nothing to protect really their don't. bodies. Not only that, but they don't ever see it coming. So you just yeah. see them and then you just see them Rock. like, just like go just like limp. And they're just like on the ground, like just laying there. Yeah. And then they might get up. Might. They might. <laughs> So uh, that one I feel more bad about. Yeah, because they literally don't get hit. Versus quarterback, they have the good chance of getting hit. They, like, yeah, I mean, they so got I mean, like, if, not know. a good chance. They shouldn't. Yeah, because they're protected. They have yeah. a lot of rules, and so you can't hit them here. You can't hit them there. At this moment, Adam plays a clip of Reggie Bush being rocked by a Miami Dolphin. You can check out that clip or get the link to that clip. Burritos or at Talking with Burritos dot com slash 16 it's reggie, yeah, you know, it's reggie bush oh the reggie oh yeah when reggie got rocked <laughs> wow. oh he did not see it coming. <laughs> oh poor reg did reg get up from that no nope. i think so he well he tries to get up yeah, and then he I just like him. walks back. he like, goes back down that has to hurt i mean you gotta think about it why do they have? Why did all those old VHS's tapes of like NFL's greatest hits ever exist? Yeah, because people wanted to rewatch. Yeah, because people want to see it. So my thing is like, even back then, you know, it was just it's pure entertainment. If you actually go back into the whole gladiator thing, it's all it's all relative. And 
and so you have like gridiron, like the gridiron warriors. You have these the big burly dudes, and they work out just to do this to to entertain. Basically, mm-hmm. you are entertainment for us. You know, if we want to go buy the tickets, we want to go see you play. Sort of like if you go to Rome, if you were back in Rome, you would. Sorry, you would. Uh, what that if was. you were, were <laughs> during, you know, uh, uh, a member of society in Rome, did you cut your hair? No. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> in Rome, do you pay to go see, go to the Coliseum or one of these places, amphitheaters, so you can watch these guys battle, do battle, and just basically, I don't know, for sheer entertainment, but yet, I think, oh, did we put them on, I don't know, are they exalted in that sense? Like, these football players? Like, do you really consider consider them warrioristic? I feel like they go in with that mentality. Uh-huh. But at the same time, I think their mentality versus a gladiator's mentality is different. Okay. Because no matter how hard a football player tries, they're not going to hit that same level because a gladiator could go in knowing that they might not come back out alive. And True. I yeah. think another thing also is a gladiator is always just one person. It's never really a team versus... Yeah. yeah, yeah, going into there, you know, uh-huh. you know, NFL people, they need their team. There's not just, there's no I in team, my friend. Okay, you know, and they, hmm. you know, you can't you can't just be a singular person. It's always about a team, never really about a player. I mean, sometimes you'll always, you know, single out a certain player being really good. Usually. Yeah, but you know, usually you'll be for the team. Though. So he's a cream of the crop. So do we sit there and watch that one player? But yeah, we don't. It's all about what? No, think about it though. You do. Actually, watch that one player. Yeah, a lot of people will sing. You know, when you yeah, when you're watching, you just want to see them. Let's say you have a marquee battle. You have like Marshawn Lynch versus. Oh no, let's go back to Bo Jackson versus um, Bosworth. Yeah, uh, Brian Bosworth. It was like it was that rivalry between those two. But you you watch those people because you want to see them go at it. And it's just like any other like. Um, sport uh, because you have your you do have your marquee players. You have your people. On your team, like if you see a J.J. Wyatt, you want to see J.J. Wyatt rock somebody. So you're going to be watching those plays yep. for J.J. Wyatt. And, you know, things are going to happen around J.J., but, you know, you might see a quarterback throw a touchdown or something, but like, oh, shoot, I need to pay attention. But for the most part, you're watching him because he is the draw. We all have – a lot of these sports have their, have their draws, like, you know, hockey and, you know, Lemieux and yeah. all these other plays. You want to see those people perform well. And so you have a spectator sport like – that versus what about that versus like you know the other spectator sport is like baseball which is hit the ball catch the ball i guess hit the ball catch the ball too right but what is it all about yeah okay so we <laughs> so okay we say that they're not really warriors of sorts but they do battle and technically i mean you got the think, redskins versus the, the patriots those are two warriors yeah <laughs> you got well you got different you know Oh man, you got Whoa. the Braves. Cases, I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> get it? Well, I get it. Get I got it. you. Get I got you. But I don't know. I was just like I was thinking. And so then we go into the whole gladiator thing. And I think back in the day, we all know about the Roman culture and the Roman um, entertainment venues, such as the amphitheaters and the big old the, and the major one, the Colosseum, and the aqueducts. And, yeah. And they no, not the aqueducts. Come on, man! And the uh, waterways. They're fun to watch. But look you know, at that water to watch go. people piss in them. Yeah, yeah. They had those those communal 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 communal, communal. Yeah, toilets and yeah, yeah. That just seems weird. Yeah. But yeah, I've heard to, about Roman toilets. Yeah, just go take a dump outside. You yeah. just walk by some random people taking a dump. That's just weird. <laughs> but yet, hey, people do it. You yeah. know, they do it in societies nowadays. Yeah, they cult- still do different it, yeah. cultures. So what the hell? What's so weird about that? <laughs> but at least they built like some cool, like system, yeah. water system awesome. to system. you know to 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 distract the water out. And so it's like it's not like you pissing where you're where you drink. Yeah. So that's a good thing. But or did they just did it go back into the river? No, it went out to the. Ocean, didn't it? Or yeah. they try to get it somewhere? I don't Something know. like that. Yeah. Where they, I don't know okay. where the aqueducts ended up. Yeah. All right. So, and so we had like search venues like that in, in 
within these venues, and they had a real major one. I forgot the name of this one. That's in Pompeii too. That big, the uh, big amphitheater that they built out there. That was one too that would um, essentially rival the Colosseum, yeah. and as its um, architecture and the uh, the beauty of it, you know, and how well it was constructed. And in and actual, the attention that it gave, because a lot of battles were fought in Pompeii in that area before it was destroyed by Mount Vesuvius. And that terrible movie, they actually bring up that. <gasps> oh, really? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they do. And I, we don't, not, uh, no one recommends you see that movie. Seriously, yeah, just dude, open up just a book, read about listen it. Listen <laughs> to Susie and the Banshee's song about Pompeii. Oh, Susie and the Banshee's. Oh, my brother, man. Yeah. She's bringing out some good stuff. I love Susie and the Banshee's. Same here, okay. man. <laughs> Um, so we have those, and so within these arenas, a lot of you might be familiar with it to the to certain movies such as Gladiator and Ben Hur. Ben Hur, okay. And within these, you have two different <laughs> two different instances, you know, of slaves being forced into battle, right? Yeah. Because I forgot how Ben Hur how was how was Particus taken. Cause he was he was a he was a commander as well, right? Yeah, with yeah. the military army. Yeah, yeah. I think he just for like, a rival. Was it for a rival? Um, oh shoot, I believe it was a rival because I remember they yeah. were like walking through the desert and shit. Yeah, and that's yeah. when they were captured. Yep, and they were brought to was it Rome? I think it was Rome because yeah. they didn't they find the Colosseum because yeah. I remember like the huge chariot uh-huh. scene yes. and shit like that. You know, so they had to be in there. So within them, you had those two instances, those two great iconic. Well, that iconic movie, which was rivaled subsequently in later years, in year 2000, by Gladiator, which we all, you know, that's like the one that we all pretty much love and mm-hmm. adore. But before that, it was Ben Hur. And Ben, because, you know, what's his name? It was just spectacular in uh, that Charles movie, you know, Charles and Heston. Yep. But this is a damn good film. So let's break it down for, but they did not have the element of Commodus in this one. This is just basically him trying to fight for his freedom, right? Yep. And, and been hurt. And so we have a different one where, what's his name? Scott. Which one? Which Scott was this that directed oh, Ridley this film? Scott. Ridley, Ridley Scott. Yeah. Well, Ridley. <laughs> what other Scott is there? His brother. What? Is he his brother? Yeah. Really? Didn't his brother, his brother die? He did. Yeah, because yeah. Scott's yeah. free. Yep. It was him and his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah that production now. company. Yeah. Which yeah. I love always love that logo logo, but um so you have Riley, right? Ridley, Ridley Scott, Ridley, Ridley Scott, oh yeah, aliens. Oh, uh, who took this movie <laughs> who Alien. took this script, script about a slave <laughs> who is forced into the gladiator scene to to prov- provide entertainment for Commodus and his loyal subjects, which is are the people of Rome, because you know, he was losing fan favor after his father died and people start um, suspected him of foul play, mm-hmm. which, you know, in if you haven't seen the movie, he did. It was true. <laughs> he killed his dad. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, and so you have this movie, which is a spectacular, driven by Russell Crowe and Joaquin Phoenix. And I'm going to go to Chris and have him tell you what he liked about this movie. I, <laughs> Not the second time. <laughs> I like the part where the tigers come out and uh, Russell Crowe fight tigers and they go Rawr! and he go back hitty hit hit hit. <laughs> and now your <laughs> real interpretation, sir. <laughs> uh, uh, Russell Crowe. This is probably Russell Crowe's greatest performance, which he cannot. He hasn't been able to ever no recreate. Uh, and it feels like he's not trying to with, I mean, he's doing epic movies still with like Robin Hood and Noah, but they're just not the correct style for him. But okay. Do you think that that's just that, you know, hitting that high peak that set a goal for that him that he can no longer reach. That's like the high, that's a really high goal yeah. right there. Because know? wasn't he just up for an Oscar? I don't think he won an Oscar for it or did he? Uh, God. Wow. I think he was up for it. I know. Yeah. He was up for it. Didn't Gladiator sweep that year? It did sweep a lot. It, I'm pretty sure it did. Uh huh. It won a lot I of awards. I don't know if year. he won the best actor. Best actor award. I'm not sure. I can never remember. But maybe later said. we'll clarify that. Yeah. So, but yeah, go In ahead. About five minutes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, this is Russell Crowe's greatest performance. 
period. Without, it's chilling to see how this man goes from being he's he's haunted, defeated. Yes, he's defeated. Haunted. He's haunted. He's got so much pain internally. It's hard. It's hard to watch it sometimes. Seeing him, yeah. Because you see this big guy, you don't want to see Russell Crowe sad. Yeah, but he had a goal. But he had know? a great goal. He had a goal, and what was his goal, sir? Was to kick ass and chew yeah. bubble gum. To get to Commodus, <laughs> but he knew with inside, he he just knew that he could not because you could tell that he just wanted to give up. You know, mm-hmm. after after the loss of his like his of his family, he really really just truly wanted to give up but he saw an opportunity by from um being um by being a gladiator participating in these horrific acts of violence against uh, other people you know who were actually you know out to get him in this spectators type sport um so he had a purpose he developed say okay well if i can i think did he purposely go out to win the audience or did it just start happening you know, organically? Happened. I think he, it just happened. Yeah, yeah and he it just, was just growing like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, Adam, do you have something to say? Oh, he did win. Okay, he won an Academy Award for it. Okay, yes. So, yeah, yeah. We have the fact checker, checker. You know, Adam Poe checking out the facts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so we don't have to correct this stuff later. So, yeah, he won an Oscar for this, which was doing, yeah, because as you say, you know, he just played that role of just that was being, his role. His role. It that was really his role. Was out of doubt. What about with the, um, Romper Stomper? I heard that was pretty much him too. In that, yeah. in that sense, where people thought like, "Oh wow, this guy! Look at him!" They really did put him on the map, mm-hmm. as far as actors are concerned, or it's acting. True. And yeah, so let's get back to Gladiator the movie. And I would say, for me, yeah, it was it was Russell Cl- Crowe just watching him just. You know, watching the stages of grief and how he just came to accept certain things, and then boom, he realized how his fame, newfound fame, and his skill could help him mm-hmm. get to uh, um, uh, Commodus, you know, the emperor, uh, who was just staging all these horrific battles just for a show, you know, just to try to get him to like me, get people to like me. And the thing is with Joaquin, he was so perfect at playing this just immature brat slash please look at me person, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know, imbecile. He was completely over his head. He didn't know what he was getting to. He just knew he wanted to be ruler. And his father was really admired by his subjects. So once he died, they looked uh, looked upon Commodus as just a meager substitute. And so in that sense, with him trying to went over even his sister in an odd Scarface type way. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it, actually. Yeah, That's right. a really good way of putting it. Um, he, um, <laughs> he really just tried to went, go to certain lengths to um, ensure that the people like him. Even after he learned of Marcus Aurelius's Crow's character's status among the Roman army, you know, he's like, oh no, this guy's bringing in He's bringing in uh, he's bringing in uh, attendance, you know. He's bringing in the people. They love him. So, mm, all right. Well, let's this just man is our star. Let Wars. him let's suffer. Keep him. Yeah, let him suffer when he could have like pardoned him, knowing that you know his status was such. Mm-hmm. So, it was just that which was perfect. And if we want to go to Ben Hur, oh, what well, Adam? Hey, you got anything else to say about? This? Oh, Gladiator. I, I just like when you know characters like Joaquin can get under your skin. Yeah. Yes. You know, that makes it easier for you to root for the protagonist, which also gets you into the movie more. Uh So even though it the movie was like super violent, and I love my action movies that are like super violent. Yes. I mean that actually got me into the story itself because of walking. So yeah, it's the juxtaposition of that. You know, you have this one solemn, sullen character, and then you just have this over the top, just really malicious. Man, you know, yeah. just hell bent on just creating a bad environment for this, uh, just this family man, this common family man. That's all he was, but yet he just kept getting thrust into these situations, and he had to adapt. Yeah, because he wanted to retire initially yeah, yeah. at the, like beginning of the movie. Yeah, he didn't want. He was done with like fighting. Going, yeah, mm-hmm. he just wanted to be. 
go. He wanted to be a farmer, right? Yeah. Yeah, that he was wanted to be a farmer. Thing. He, just, exactly. he just wanted to be he, a farmer. And that's what he said when they asked him, who are you? He's just so, he, he told him yeah, that he, he said, was just a farmer. Yeah. He didn't want to tell him his rank or anything. They found that out somehow. How did they find that out? No, yeah. He was battling. He was with someone, another um, gladiator, and he who was thrust into the sea right? with them. Yeah, he recognized them, yeah. and he dined them out as being Marcus Aurelius, the commander yeah. of this army. Yep. And so, but when they learned about it, like Commodus, he just totally ignored it because he was doing so much for the city of Rome and his subjects that they were liking him because he put together these magnificent games, and that's what a lot of those games were orchestrated by the emperor at the time he just, just as a form of entertainment so as you have like robert goodell you look at him as the emperor of the sort but he's not really emperor because it's totally different than football because he's answering to someone and you could he's kind of like a puppet oh i was like man you could compare him to him because you know everybody says he's a big old bitch <laughs> <laughs> bravo sir bravo <laughs> that was a good one that's, that's great delivery actually. Well, that bitch, you know he put the emphasis on it <laughs> it made it real sound good though. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess you could put it in, in that sense. But, yeah, he's governed by the owners. Yeah. You know, basically, right? Because he just puts down the rules. So, basically, if they say, well, I mean, he has to yeah, say, like, basically, they vote. He has to say and, how yeah, high and he's he like, oh, paid, okay. What, $40 million a year? How much does he get paid? It's something like that. Because that how one year. get paid year... $40 million a Jeez. year? And you just pretty much be like, oh, okay, well, this is what you want. Yeah, uh, yep. uh, all right, yeah, I'll get it done. That's what you do. That's basically, you know, yeah. so if Brady says, hey, I'm like, I'm innocent, you know that motherfucker guilty, but like, uh, he's innocent. Somebody whispers in your ear, yeah, give it up. Oh, man, yeah, see, <laughs> You're I, like, okay, I, I'll I give messed it up. up. I didn't mean that yeah, he, I didn't mean he did to that. Go out there. You know, you like to see how he like, tries to show some, <laughs> yeah. some, some, some balls and yeah. sort of thing, but then all of a sudden, he always does like 180. He backtracks, he's like, oh, yeah. oh. Maybe I shouldn't have spoke man. out so soon. <laughs> Oh, they do. Because <laughs> I'm taps on the shoulder like. Oh, okay. Never mind. Scratch that. Oh, he's innocent. Yeah, <laughs> even with that oh, Ray no Rice punishment thing. whatsoever. He's fine. Even when the whole Ray Rice thing went down. At first, oh. he was like, we are going to. He's, he's suspended. I didn't know about this. He's suspended indefinitely. <laughs> he's never coming back. Well, you know, um, what I actually meant to say was uh, <laughs> we uh, already knew about it. So uh, we couldn't really suspend him. And, uh. I'm not taking any questions. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just going to go home. <laughs> Get in the car. So, yeah, but, so, totally different because if it was like um, um, uh, uh, a Hannibal or a Caligula or anything like that, they'd pretty much say, well, this is that. You're a cheetah, Brady, Brady so go in the ring and die. Wait, I, <laughs> I don't think Hannibal was the emperor of Rome. He was. No, Hannibal was just conquered, like... He was what's it called? He like he was an emperor. Right? Yeah, he made something different. He did something, but he did it horribly. Yeah, you know, <laughs> to like, the point where I he remember... almost he almost destroyed Rome. Yeah, due to his actions thereof. So he, I don't he know. Okay, I thought expand. he was the emperor. Like no, I think he like he conquered Rome. Anyway, he took over oh, it again. Oh yeah, and like he overthrew it. Uh huh. And he was trying to expand Rome even more, and, just... and that made it worse because he was trying to take elephants to the Alps. Yes. Oh, yeah, so he almost single-handedly brought down the civilization of Rome. Yeah. Hannibal did. It was, like, crazy. What about Nero? Nero didn't do much, did Nero, he? he was only, like, what, the third emperor? He yeah. Was, he was just nutty. Yeah, he was just, yeah, he was just kind of crazy. Yeah. Right? He was just kind of crazy. Was Hannibal crazy. was just a conqueror. Yeah. Oh, okay. They, and Caligula just liked the ladies. He loved the ladies. Yeah. Let's not go into Caligula boom, too much now. Boom, <laughs> boom. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so he's totally giving me we, we could We could talk about that movie anytime. <laughs> and so we... And so I think with um, I think with Sparta uh, with um, Ben Hur though, oh, they, they're so, both, both great stories. They really are. They're both epic movies. That's both the thing. Epic, they're yeah. both dr- long movies meant to be enjoyed by the masses. By the masses, just just epic length, epic scenes. Okay, let's start talking about the gladiators then. And as far as the gladiator, see how I segue? I'm yeah. pretty damn good at this. Oh, um, <laughs> let's talk about the gladiators. Like, therefore, you know, you have this gladiator, and then you have like the the, the Spartacus, you know, and uh, Marcus Aurelius. So let's go into like the, um, some comparisons to them, and then break down what a gladiator is. I get and, a net and trident. You get okay. nothing. Okay, and so like the net and trident, trident. Um, that was actually one of those very obscure 
um, weapon choice uh, weapon choices uh, that they ever that they ever used because it just was it was just weird because was, you have a yeah. net, you have a triton so a lot of people didn't use that but in these movies they really did they used them they used them a they lot. Put, yeah they like, used them a lot and like, like the, the chariot races that? that wasn't really much of a thing until later on I think maybe one A D yeah. um, after death um, and with was it Kim Nero and them. I don't know, something a little bit later. Uh, when they first started out, they weren't really as common. Yeah. But later on, as they started to, uh, the audiences became bored with the common, like the just the commonplace like battle scene, like, oh, look, you're fighting with the sword. Yeah, yeah, win. They had to add some excitement to it. So then they started adding these weapons. And it was so, uh, like those, like the tridents and stuff. And then, the, you know, you got the ball and chain. And you mean the bolus? Bolus, yeah, and then you have Cestus, um, which is a it's a pretty much brass knuckles, yeah, pretty much because they went to sword and shield at first, yeah, you know, trying to use just that's basically, and then they went to all these other different things just to try to garner more interest in the sport because they were losing interest because it was boring yeah. <laughs> after a while watching the same old thing because even with the animals, people think you know through the movies that they used them a lot, but they really didn't. Um, they would. They would do some things like before some of the matches uh, for the competitions or the battles, they would actually throw like prisoners and like just uh, basically on the, 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 the bottom tier of society, civilization, in with them to just be mutilated and killed. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. As just as a precursor to the actual battle. Go lion. It had no other purpose. It's just like, yo, you guys want to see something? Huh, watch this. <laughs> it's so like your pre-show. It's like your like your cheerleaders or your like guy with a basketball. It's, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's your mascot battle. Your mascot battle. <laughs> Go lion. You just put throw this prisoner. This they poor guy do- is just like, huh? Imagine He's a big do. bear. Imagine He'll get a bear. Imagine if they got Chicago Bears. They have a literal bear down no on the bear. field. Okay, go maul those lines, bear. <laughs> that would be so sad. Why would people watch that? You basically watch this dude focused. be mutilated. That's all. That's all it was. But it really was. It's kind of weird because they would throw people in there with ostriches and yeah. all random animals just yeah. to watch them slaughter them. Yep. You know, but then, you know, you get your real good ones like your bears and your tigers and your lions. There's a lot of lions that imports, I would say, yeah. <laughs> from other countries Ooh, from like Africa. So just to add a little bit of spice to it. Like, oh, look, you guys in for a treat. You know, before we do this, you know. <laughs> think about it. Actually, I think they got their field. lions from uh, Asia, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did they get from I think lions they, from Asia? Because uh, uh, Africa's in. There, there were Asian lions. Oh, and okay. there still are, but they're really endangered. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was just thought the tiger. No, no. Oh, pandas. Did they fight pandas? I don't think they fought pandas. I don't That'd think they went that far. Dope if they got a panda. They, yeah, what they, if they traveled and got a polar bear? <laughs> I don't think they went that far north. Why not? <laughs> I just don't think they did. They needed to. They never went to Norway. I wanted to see a dude go to a, a rink with a polar bear. Shh. Dude, that would be awesome, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Because bears, I don't know what kind of bears they have in Italy though. Like, what kind they, of bears I mean, around, around that region? They used to have like black bears. I think. Yeah, see, black they're all the big yeah. grizzlies. They got small ones. They need the Alaskan if ones, you, man. Well, technically, the biggest bears are from Russia. They're like these uh, Ruski bears, pretty much. Like, I can't remember <laughs> what they're called, but like they're these giant fucking bears. They drink like vodka. they're they're bigger than grizzlies. <laughs> they drink vodka. <laughs> This bears just wait a minute. <laughs> All right, we're good. Let's go. Yeah, these bears are bigger than uh, polar bears or grizzlies. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Damn. It's They're, not the Kodiak, right? It's not the Kodiak. It's bigger than the Kodiak. It's bigger than the Kodiak. I what the? Because yeah. Kodiak can go. I remember being a kid going to the museum in Alaska. And they had this Kodiak bear, and I was like, "What? Maybe three feet." This thing was ten feet, yeah. and it was just standing up like it was stuffed. You know, you know, yeah. it wasn't a real life bear. And me and a kid, you know, like look at bear eaten oh um, but 10 feet this 10 foot bear freaking magnificent but just scary yeah. like but they got bears bigger than that yeah that's ridiculous bears did putin scary. can putin take down one do you think if putin like wrestled at one of the big ass bears he would win because he's a bad <laughs> if he was in uh if he was on the a hockey rink oh <laughs> well you know he all tough with you know juice judo he's breaking like boards and shit i don't think he could fight a bear i bet you he can i, I bet you he, he i bet you he thinks he could 
Yeah, I bet he. Well, I bet, yeah, you, I bet he, he thinks he's, he's here, here too. too. <laughs> but he, if you don't got his horse or his hockey gear, <laughs> food versus the bear. He's just, he's just standing out in the middle of nature, you know, just in his pants. That's it. I just had this weird thing where he's just like he's on there. Where he looks like a damn cupid. He has a lot of archery. He has like a bow and arrow. He's just like on a horse, Jesus. and he's just like got little wings on. And he's shooting arrows. What? I don't know why. It just came in there as a picture. Okay. And so they had these animals. So, you know, just to like add a little bit more uh, spice to the game. Yeah. So what if you were in a football field and you just had like bears incorporated <laughs> with the game? And it's like if you run to a certain area, there's a bear waiting for you. So you got to avoid that area you. or you just get mauled by a bear or you just have to outrun a bear. I'll, say, I'm, I'm I'll give it honey. <laughs> I don't think you would have anybody like actually <laughs> go to like a, sh- like, a game anymore. Yeah. Unless it was like a hockey game where you actually had like some sort of plexiglass protecting you. Yeah. Because people would be like, I don't need a bear attacking me. The bears. Or an eagle coming flying down and swooping <laughs> down on me. The real bears. Huh? Yeah. The eagles. No, no. The eagles what they do, <laughs> they genetically remake those giant, like, giant eagles from like, uh, yeah. from, like New Zealand and shit. You know, those ones that yeah. people were actually afraid of? Oh, shit, really? And, like, swoop down and steal their kids. Yeah, steal their kid. Damn. Yeah, their ego's that big. Wow. Yeah. That's dope. When man. humans were around, too. Really? Think about that for a second. Like That's, civilization. Yeah. Like uh, not civilization. Well, I mean, no? Not, not civilization, oh, but, you okay. know, people in tribes and shit. Yeah. But still, that's still crazy. Was it Was it a griffin? <laughs> was it a griffin? Griffins are <laughs> half, half lion, half eagle. Was it a griffin? Wasn't a griffin. How you know it wasn't a griffin? Because <laughs> it was a giant. You said eagle. it was big, right? It's a giant eagle. Slash I, lion. <laughs> a griffin. No. There are no lions in the, the the that Pacific. You don't know. I do know. How do you know? There's no. Bones. How do you know what's in the, at no, the bottom of the no sea? There's no fossil records. How do you know what's in the bottom of the sea? There's no sea lions because it's so. Actually, yeah, there there's are like sea glowing lions things. There. And have you seen that one with the glowing animal? Okay, I'm going off track. Okay. So we, <laughs> so we got animals in the ring. We got raiders. We got pirates swinging at you with swords. Dopeness. See? <laughs> no, see, no, you could get away with that. Because then you'd have to have the Redskins and then people be upset. Yeah. yeah. I guess the Patriots, just like you had mentioned before, that would just be out of poor taste. <laughs> the Patriots would just have really old guns that don't they, work well. <laughs> They're having to like reload them and like <laughs> and cowboys. They'll just lasso you. They will. They don't actually have guns. cowboys running around with lassos <laughs> and horses. <laughs> they probably do better than the team now. Boom! Oh, right. no. oh no. they couldn't oh, have horses. Dolphins? Ooh, killer dolphins! Oh, killer, killer dolphins! Land dolphins. You have to play in the water. Yeah. Oh, land dolphins! Land dolphins. Oh. They learn how to walk. Okay, but didn't they say back in the day the, the dolphins were land animals? Uh, I Isn't mean, that all, this science that all they were? whales? Yeah, move to the water. Yeah, yeah. they're all land animals so, that hey, move back. We just reverse an evolution. Yeah, you know, and so now they're on land and they have football helmets. Yeah, and they'll rape you and take your eagles. Oh, I was thinking of like street sharks. <laughs> Those street, sharks. street sharks. What the, the, the cartoon? Yeah. <laughs> so would the Browns have a bulldog then, or would they just have turds chasing after you? I don't know. <laughs> Do they even have them? They have the bulldog, don't they? Yeah, they have the bulldog. Oh, so they just have bulldogs. Yeah, yeah they I guess. Have bulldogs. I don't get that. Right? Why is would it like called the brown? A breed of brown bulldog? Not really. I mean, they can come in brown, but not I thought really. the brown was supposed to be like a bear, and then when I found out, a, like, I thought it was a bear yeah. too. No, it's, it's a bulldog. Yeah, because it's not bear. Oh, what about uh, Green Bay? What they have just people? What the hell's a Packer cheese? They're cheese heads. So. Yeah, they're cheese oh, so heads. he just has cheese on the field. Yeah. Cheese Packers. They just like and the, the the opponent is just like just sick because they eat too much cheese and so then they forfeit. Yeah, they're forcing the cheese lactose. down their throats. <laughs> yeah, lactose to color. They just start exploding everywhere, <laughs> like damn seagulls. <laughs> Killer <laughs> ravens from the sky. <laughs> all right, so all right, okay, you guys. So we got those spectator sports and where was I? Was I back into the gladiator? Right. Uh, we were getting into the whole comparing them to each other, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, the, the gladiators of sorts. So we started in, uh, talking about like the the chariots and stuff. And so you had the chariots, and but I think it was more. And it battles. made more sense in Spartacus. I mean, and, and Ben Hur, yeah, with the with the chariot races. And as we okay, as a segue was that just to add a little bit more spice to the games, mm-hmm. they made they chariot races. 
they implemented chariot races and where you just race around. It's kind of like what we do now, uh, like with cars. <laughs> and but yet there was they, some, they were trying to like yeah kill each other. And yeah, they trying to knock people off and try to take your wheels out. And very well done for that time. That was very that was mm-hmm. well done because if you go into the gladiator now that we watched 2000 there was some cg a lot of cg but these people they actually did it there were yep. people dying and hurting themselves during the production of this movie of been hurt um and that's so. why we have unions exactly <laughs> and as if in fact gladiators formed unions back in the day because they were like House, oh, I wouldn't say house train. That's how. <laughs> that is really that's bad. Not, gladiator. Yeah, bad. that sounded bad. Well, you go outside to use the. A restroom. lot of them were part of a training unit where they had trainers, just like in Gladiator. Yeah, just like when uh, Marcus Aurelius had that one yeah. guy. He had a handler. He had someone going. It's like this is what you do. Don't do this. Well, they had yeah because he owned. He was owned by someone. Mm-hmm. That's how. That's what happened. Yeah. yeah. So he was on. So they had these people on the outside, sort of like your old samurais, where. These commonwealth men or feudal lords, as you would, as you would say, back in the feudal age, but it would be in in Rome, which was probably going around about the same time. Um, on the outskirts, of the, they were, they had their their own slaves, and they employed them, and so they would take them. They would there would be some of those lords or whatever. I'm gonna say just lords, just because it sounds better than owner. Um, it really does. In charge, yeah, in charge of. You know, some of them actually uh, trained these warriors to fight in the gladiator games. So, so that's why when you first see Marcus Aurelius, since he's coming from, um, he's being wheeled in like, like you know, carts. You know, they, all these people are being wheeled in the carts to go fight in, in their arena. That's what, what it was. It, he, they were all owned. And so after a while, this slash spectator sport people thought it was all about violence. It was actually an organized thing, you know, a form of entertainment for people, whereas they didn't have to always go and fight to the battle. A lot of them were comrades, uh, or you would say, you know, friends, and they knew each other, but, you know, it's all about putting on a good show, showmanship. That's what it was all about. And so they wouldn't even fight to the death. They just put fight to put on a good show, and it all depends on, the person holding the games, the ruler involved, that would determine if it would be a fight to the finish of sorts. So, so we have that, and so which was kind of cool with how they depicted in gladiators, like how a lot of other people, how it wasn't just slaves, it was the common folk, and stuff, common folk, know. people who just Moving, you know, they would say everybody. thrill seekers, yeah. or you know, like those guys. Did they used to have a thing where? People would just come out the streets. Oh, back in the day, back in the bo- old boxing age, bare fist boxing, yep. where you just have people come in off the streets. Uh-huh. It would be a crowd of individuals. They pure would come off the street. Pure pugilism at its greatest. Huh? Pure pugilism at yeah. its greatest. And the guy and somebody was just like, I can take him. And they were going in. They were just freaking pummeling one another with bare fists, like real men. And they had these. So that's basically what it, what it would be like, where just people would just wanted to do it. And some of them to gain... Yeah, I was about to say, Adam. Some of them would do it just to gain a little bit more acceptance, you know, because they would like become like if you were like a lord or something, you were involved or like gain respect yeah. among the people in your crowd. You would go out there and you would just compete because it wasn't to the death, you know. You could mm-hmm. just end it with a handshake. But then other times, like Marcus Aurelius and Commodus, you know, he would. That's the name, right? Come on. Yeah. Uh, that he would come in <laughs> and he would do things. He would involve himself in such a way where he would like only compete like if there was a dull sword involved. He was like dull all the swords. I think they put that in the movie too. Yeah, yeah. I think they, did. Um, they would dull the swords so that you know so he wouldn't get hurt if he got sh- if he was struck by a blade. And he would do things whereas he was a recruit just random. <laughs> people from the stands like or like spectators like hey come into the ring and fight me but then that person would be so fearful of his life that he wouldn't want to compete or or hurt the emperor because he would just die anyway and a lot of times i guess he let him go but i didn't read up they didn't really emphasize or elaborate that's gonna suck if you died yeah if you just died just went to, in there yeah he, i mean he called on the people if he yeah. did that you know wouldn't that suck if you died during that? Yeah, right? If you just got... Yeah, you just died 
So you, because you, you're damned of, if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, because yeah, exactly. You can't really do much. So as they said, a lot of these people are just fearful of, of yeah. just. I think at that point people would have fought back. So I think he had to have let people go because yeah. I think you would have started getting a reputation like, oh, he's gonna calm me down, and then he's gonna. Kill or maybe me. you get that one person who's just like, okay, this is my time. I'm going to take him. Maybe out. he had plans because they hated him so much. So they probably put in a mold, put in somebody yeah. like, like he looks weak. But he's strong. <laughs> Maybe they put like plants in the in the auditor in the Coliseum of like people, you know, like yeah. Plants of people. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like, he, like and, I will fight you, sir. They're they're all suicidal, so it's <laughs> <Yo>. okay. <laughs> Kamikazes. <laughs> so they're like, eh, whatever. I want to die anyways. Like I just want to take out the the, the, the jackass of a ruler because <laughs> I don't like him. Um, so we have that, and um, we all also have the coup de gras. You know, a lot of those coup de gras. Sorry, sorry, coup de gras. Coup de gras. Uh, Rupal's favorite. Yep, because it it's a D and D term. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, when you have a prone opponent, you can coup de gras them, and either kill them or do massive damage. Usually kill though. Usually kill. Yeah. It's usually kill. A fatality. Yeah. And so I was just um, I was enamored by this just the phrase of this guy. I forgot his name. I'll. Put him in. I'll put a link to the actual article in the show notes talking with Britos last 16. It was just like the coup de gras by stabbing his opponent between the shoulder blades and through the heart and into the neck. So if you see somebody, we've seen it in numerous movies where you have someone lean down on the knees. Or, or what about um Mission Impossible, that last scene where she... Sh- where she gets uh, him in the shoulder, yeah. right in that area, and she yeah. just stabs down. Uh-huh. So basically, the blade penetrates the shoulder, goes and goes through the heart. Yeah, it reaches the heart, and so then that's how you just stop life. And in Gladiator, he did that same thing. And once I read that, I'm like, that is awesome. But that was a common fatality used by combatants. You know, when um, uh, by the victor within one of these battles. So and. and <clears throat> and a lot of misconceptions where you say, you know, ooh, thumbs up, thumbs down. A lot of the thumbs down, they say no. It's all. It was always like a thumbs up to actually um, uh, to give the the go ahead to kill um, your your loser, you know, that you were in battle with. And also, let's go into some other things. Anything else about? Okay, no, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> also, there was one other thing too. I was like. And what about, I want to talk about this one. What about the celebrity of it all? Because just like in Gladiator and Spartacus, they, they both represent the ben celebrity. Of, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> of, yeah, Spartacus is the show. Ben-Hur is the movie. Sorry. Yeah. That I'm referencing. Um, they talk about this. Uh, they, well, they elaborate on, the, um, they showcase the celebrity of it all. So you've participated in these games and you've proven yourself worthy. And that's one reason why. Commodus could not kill Marcus Aurelius because he has such a common following because he could have easily had him done with, Mm -hmm. you know, done and over. But yet he had a celebrity amongst the the crowd now. And so people didn't want to see him go. So if anything ever happened to him, they would have pointed the finger at Commodus. And so he had to just let him go and had to let this whole thing play out, which played into Maximus's favor. But yet, so you talk about the celebrity of the sex team, you're thinking about like the gridiron warrior, you know, the football player, the person who's just like, you know, you get these accolades, accolades, yeah. and you, you just become like, let's think about one good play. Just think about it. It's sort of like um, any, given, even, any given Sunday. One awesome play could make you a hero, you know, in the, in the eyes of many. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> So think about that celebrity. And so back then, they were. I was reading this thing where <laughs> they were such a celebrity. You know, they had like the little figurines that are made out of the clay of the of the warriors, and they put that in Gladiator yeah. as well. They yeah, did. yeah, yeah, they <laughs> did. Yeah, little figurines made out of clay. That one kid, the um, his sister, Commodus's sister's kid, had a, like a little figure because he idolized or he looked up to or he really liked Commodus. You know, because yep. kids can see those things. They're like a noble man, and so he's trustworthy, and so he knew this guy. Um, you got your Hercules brand, uh, yeah, uh, uh, action figure. Yeah, he knew this guy was good. But there was times where they would say women, you know, a lot of the women. So they would take, um, sort of like wearing a vial of like blood or something around your neck. They would. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> they would collect like the blood and or sweat. The blood or sweat or of, of one of these gladiators, one of these very famous figures, would be what would, would um was a, a a huge commodity back then because they would take it and put it in a vial and stuff, and it was yeah it was considered an aphrodisiac because this guy, this person was so unearthly he was godlike in a sense and so that they would put them on this pedestal and then and then and consider his blood or his sweat was just this thing that would really make the ladies swoon or men make the women swoon over you freaking weird but totally dope and also another thing did y'all think did y'all know that um they had women gladiators i I knew that yeah i heard Ah, oh, so a lot of times they would fight along alongside gladiators, but they also had their own ba- their own battles as well. I think Tiberius actually, um, um, he he, um, uh, what you call that? Stopped the act, you know, because he didn't like it back in the day. But but yeah, yeah, people they had the option, just like I said, like there was different people. Like if you were on the street, you was like, you know what, I'll do it. But a lot of them, you know, some of them were just slave women, and some were just prisoners. They just decided they would fight in battle and, and own up and maybe own some respect amongst the, the the people and maybe some, what do you call that, when you try to get in good grace thereof, so that people pardon, pardon and maybe earn a pardon <clears throat> just based on their um, actions, you know, their ability to entertain people. So I thought that was pretty neat as well. So that's the gladiator now. I mean, then, you know, our gladiators now are considered, you know, are they? Would would you consider like football players and gladiators or hockey players gladiators or I see more like uh, a lot of boxers and like MMA fighters tend to be like these people we put on these pedestals yeah. of being these warriors yeah. you know and I think they like to compare themselves to gladiators I think they're the closest thing to I think you saw yeah, yeah, yeah going I would into say, the ring and yeah. just battling it out yep and health of skelter you know yep. I was like going bare fist and bone and- and knock out, you know? Yeah. Because, I mean, they're going in for pretty much the glory. They're not really going in, like... I mean, granted, they do want to get paid, but, I mean, it's to for that recognition is why they're going in there, See, with, And with the show time, with the time being as short as... as it, well, they have, like, three rounds and three minutes each. Uh, it's three rounds, uh, five minutes, five and then minutes, if okay. you go for a championship, then it's five rounds for five minutes. Okay. Do you think they're... Concerned more so about spectatorship, showmanship? Uh, or is it just watching them battle? That's the showmanship it is. That's what it is. That's the, I think that's, that's what it is because, I mean, sometimes I mean, those attractive. fights don't even get out of like, yeah, the first round. Exactly. So, I mean, so what's the attraction thereof? It's just to see those that minute of awesomeness? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, because sometimes you could have, like, all three rounds and most of it's them dancing around and yeah. you're upset. So, yeah. I mean, you want... Just them Mayweather. just going at it, yeah. Basically, yeah. It's just slow. Let me let's hug for like twelve rounds. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Give me but, fucking Rocky here, man. Yeah, we want to see some all out, bro. Battles or just oh, even Mike Tyson back in the day. Wasn't, oh yeah. It was like, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pow. Oh. <laughs> Sixty dollars down the drain. Yeah. <laughs> and we still have all this food left. <laughs> I bet you I can beat Mike Tyson. Dun, 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 dun. You remember that one? Hmm? Oh, Fresh Prince. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. I do not remember that. Oh, no. Also, so. <laughs> Look it up after the episode. But, um, <laughs> okay, so, so what? All right. Given all the athletes and stuff you have now, like that you that you're aware of. Who would you put as your like as your as your as your leader as your as your fighter? Conor McGregor. Who that? He's an MMA fighter. Uh huh. He's from. Uh, oh, is it the Irishman? Ireland? Yeah. Oh, that dude's crazy. Yeah, that yeah. Dude's crazy. Yeah, that dude, yeah, he's pretty. Yeah. Crazy. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. That one because he just because <laughs> I watched one battle. I'm like, what the. I mean, he's like, he's like, I'm going to knock you out in the second round. Yeah. And he does it. Yeah. Or he'll be like, I'm going to knock you out in the first minute of the first round. And he'll knock you out. That dude. He calls it and he does it. I'm like, not really. I was afraid of people like, but I'm afraid. <laughs> I looked at him. I was just like, oh, if I saw this motherfucker, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> I looked at him. I don't care how short you are. I'm looking down. This dude looks like he could kill you. <laughs> in a second. 
Uh, my champion would be John Cena. Why? Because John Cena, you can't see me. My time is now. Because <laughs> that's a showman right there. Showman, he brings there in the crowds. Go. Very good, sir. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's not him. That, it, <laughs> no, that was Hulk. No, that, yeah, that was Hulk. Boy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> wrestlers are showmen. They are. If you very think about showmen. wrestlers and um. If you, you know, go his, uh, the history of gladiators, that's basically what it was. Yeah. A lot of it was just putting on a show. It is true. You know, putting on a show for the audience. It didn't get like... But see, I think as they got bored with it, it got more violent. Yeah. You know, people start dying because people wanted to see more. They just didn't want to see you just concede and shake hands. Yep. They didn't want to see you bleed, bitch. <laughs> Cut his arm off. And that's why you what got is, you got wrestlers bringing in razor blades to cut themselves and stuff like that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. To make it seem like yeah, to yep. get showmanship. Yeah, yep. get the crowd. They give them what they want. They want to see blood. Give them blood. The movie the wrestler is very yeah. true. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, see, recommendation from Chris the Ripple. All right, my. You know what I'm gonna go, Adam. You know where I'm gonna go with it, Adam. <laughs> John Cena. No. <laughs> Ronda Rousey. I'm going Ronda Rousey. Once I heard that whip. Oh shit. Hey, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Once I heard that women were gladiators, I thought, Ronda Rousey. <laughs> like, oh, my girl. Uh, I, uh, yeah, Ronda Rousey, just because she's badass and she can whoop some. Yeah, I'm just going to say, guys, my guy's going to win. And I can got, see her, I can see her fighting the dude. Figures Basically, sold. this is why. Because <laughs> I'm thinking I'm thinking a Ronda Rousey gladiator movie. And I'm like, oh, that would be sexy. <laughs> so that's about basically, I don't know if she win, but I'm pretty sure, you know, she can put up a good fight. But. Ronda Rousey. And like some armor. In Xena. I just need to see Ronda Rousey in armor. In Xena. In Xena. Oh. She could be the next Xena. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, she would have to, I don't know about the blonde hair, though. My Xena is brunette. She could dye it. Would it look weird? Sure? Yeah. I think so. I'm picturing it right now, and I'm not digging it. <laughs> I'm not digging it. But I can see her as uh, America Girl, what you call Captain Marvel. Oh, yeah. I can see her as that. But yeah, that would be my choice. I would say I would have to go with Ronda Rousey because I love her. <laughs> but plus, you'd be badass carrying a sword and yeah. such. Okay, no, yeah. I was like, my guy would give you the greatest show, the shortest show. Yeah, I think place. your guy would would truly portray what they're what it is to be a gladiator. Yeah. <laughs> Just viciousness, <laughs> going there, no holds bar. You better. You better not even hesitate to try to strike because he's going to strike you two or three times before and you'll be just bleeding down on the ground because this guy, he just seems so relentless. Well, you can watch his like... Un- just not scared. You can watch his highlight reel on like YouTube and I think it's under like 20 minutes. Yeah. And that's all his fights. Wow. <laughs> well, just- you know what? You guys is, guys are going to lose because John Cena's actually killed people. That is true. He's a Marine. He was a Marine. He was a Marine. Oh, uh-huh. I yeah. didn't know he killed people. Marines kill people. But how well, I guess know? that is also true. You don't I know if he actually <laughs> yeah, killed Yeah, you anybody. don't know that. Uh, you know, he could have been on a squad that didn't kill people. <laughs> Maybe, you know, he missed the boat that day. He woke up late. He was like, oh, shit. I missed you don't wake up late as a Marine. Yeah, that was possible. <laughs> I don't think it is. His tummy ache that day. Oh, my tummy. <laughs> I'm going to watch wrestling. Well, I'm inspired. <laughs> awesome. I just, I know my next profession. <laughs> I know my next profession. I'm going AWOL. <laughs> what else about some gladiators? Anything else, people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to tell the story of when I first watched Gladiator. Oh, because I saw it in theaters, and I would have been eight at the time. Oh wow! Yeah. But I really liked it as a little kid. Yeah. Being eight, I was immersed into this movie. Why? And really, I don't Why know. Why do you think? I just really liked it. Yeah, it Maybe just, it was the violence. And I think stuff. it was. Yeah, it was the violence. It could yeah. be the, just the action too, because yeah. it was well done. The action was well done. But like, I was really swayed by Russell right Crowe and shit. And yeah. like, I just really liked it when I was little. And then when I got home, like we saw the late night one, like maybe like eight o'clock. So it would have been over at like 10 or 11. Yeah. Like as soon as we got home, I lay my head down, down to fall asleep. I threw up my popcorn. Oh, <laughs> he's like, it's so awesome. It's, like, ah. it's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad was like, oh, it's okay, buddy. You had a lot of popcorn this night. <laughs> you had a lot of popcorn. <laughs> and Chris was like, probably, probably, you're probably just so into the yeah. movie that you just like, you know, one of those things where you just keep eating, you know? Yep. It's like, 
wait, did I eat that entire bag? What the hell? <laughs> no, we Too would always butter. get, uh, what's it called? My mom would always pour it out into a napkin for me. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, how okay. I would get it. Oh, that was cool. And my mom was also very cheap. And I got to admit, <laughs> we actually did, because they did the free refills on the larges, but the larges came in the medium bag, you uh-huh, know, like yeah. in the bag form. Uh-huh. And we would just take the bag and we would take them home and then bring them back. You know what's sad? I was probably like, I probably threaded that movie for you. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was, yeah, 2000 would be the first time that. Uh, we went to Elkhorn, open. though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fuck you, then. Because we lived closer to Elkhorn. Oh, okay. Gotcha. During that, that, back during back that period. Yeah. yeah I remember back when I lived me. over there. So, no. But seriously, I recommend, like, anything on Rome, people. Just go back and listen to it. But watch this movie. Let's watch, if you haven't watched The Gladiator, or if you've watched it before, you haven't watched it in a while, go revisit that movie. Because it's just so damn good. It really know? is. Go get that movie, and then pick up some audio books. This is audio book. Uh, I will reference it in the show notes. But this guy has a magnificent voice. It's on audible.com. It, he is, and he's just going through the, 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 ancient, uh, the, the ancient history of Rome. And oh my goodness. I just love Rome. And yeah. oh, have I said a, have I told you I've been there? I've been there before. Yeah. I went there in year actually two thousand when I got married. Um, uh, we, we went we went there because I always wanted to see the Colosseum, and I went there because I think it was right after. <laughs> I just wasn't glad to hear the I'm like I want to see that, uh, <laughs> and so I was there, and then I was just like. And I really wanted to like do a battle scene. I wish they were like staging battles or something. I'd be like, can I volunteer? You know, I want to volunteer with like one of those swords and such. Yeah. Maybe like a wooden sword or something. Or I'll just give try, you a training. I'll sword. just try to strike somebody. <laughs> like this is not real. This is not real. I just wanna... give me that cestus. Because they were building like a platform out there to um to cover the catacombs underneath. Okay, we can go into the whole Colosseum thing, but you know the catacombs where they actually. Yeah kept the slaves yeah. and the animals and stuff before the battles because a lot of it had deteriorated or actually, yeah, and just kind of crumbled through. And so they were building it across and I haven't been back, but I'm hoping in 2020, you know, uh, uh, one of my anniversaries that we'll be able to, to go back there and see that because I would really like to. And yeah, because I love, I just love Rome and Italy and stuff. So, so yeah. I've always wanted to visit Rome. Yeah. I would recommend it. I just, and I actually want to retire in like Italy. I seriously want to like have enough money, like stocked up, so I can just go there, and get a house on the country side, and just the crunchy side. Oh, country, the country <laughs> the side, the crunchy side, side though. Um, and just chill. And maybe there's some landowner over there, some old lady with some cows, and she comes and checks 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 in on me every now and then. I even my wife said, "Oh, you can go." Oh, at that after that, I'll probably be tired of you. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> she can retire me to Italy I'm like cool alright I'm just gonna go live there and chill for the rest of my life but cause I think it's very beautiful over there out on the countryside but if you mm-hmm. go to like Rome and stuff it's so overwhelmed by like tourists and oh, shit. Yeah. It's, it's it takes away from the yeah. majestic of uh, majesticism I wanna say uh, mysticism the natural, that is that like the was, natural beauty yeah that was Rome back mm-hmm. in the day cause you see the Colosseum it's perfect you frame it boom and if you just go down and there's all these people and you got these yeah. great ancient sculptures with these fucking people and actually the people are ruining it because you know They're our touching carbon them dioxide and oh, yeah, the it's, air yeah. you know we're ruining the air and so that's like breaking down the brick and so and or or causing it to erode faster you know a so lot of people, people and there. a lot of uh, people are touching them and stuff like that yeah. and the oils in the our oils hands and stuff you know, from constantly hands. from that yeah, ruining you wonder them. why they hide freaking photo I mean pictures from you you're like like the Mona Lisa is yeah. stuck between a glass and another glass in it in this temperature to the <laughs> temperature controlled area. Mm-hmm. But when you actually look at the Mona Lisa, Lisa, it's like a yard away from you. Now it's like maybe two, three yards away from you. It's like so far back there, away from people. So that's like, okay, I'm pretty sure that's Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like her. I mean that thing is kind of small. Yeah, it's like the frescoes. Yeah. Um that one major one. Even the one Michael, uh, the the Sistine Chapel, even yeah. that one, yep. you can just see it slowly eroding, just because you know they open up to tourists and tourists go see. Yeah, and then you get your oxygen, you get your carbon dioxide, and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. It just ruins the air in there, and brings down. The, it just ruins the air and adds more Plus, moisture. There's, lot, there's not a lot of uh, circulation in there, yeah. also, and so then it just starts like deteriorating. Ah, oh, it's so horrible, man. Just keep the fucking people away. Take pictures, like look online. Right. Just do a virtual, like you know, we got that that cool stuff now. We can just. What's yeah, I bet Google Maps Adam? has that shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was like, 
they got VR now. You don't so. even have to go now, you know? Yeah. Like, just close it off, people. Just do, like, a VR tour. Yeah. Okay, all right. You guys, this has been Talking with Burritos. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh sorry. I know why John Cena would also win. Because he <laughs> met Scooby-Doo and the Flintstones. Okay, now, <laughs> that has been Talking <laughs> with Burritos. I am Jerry J.J. Wayne Graham. I'm Adam Poe Snyder. And I am Christopher LaRupel. All right, you guys, if you go, uh, if, hey, feel free to leave a comment at talkingwithburritos.com slash episode 16 or just 16. Or you can go look us up on Facebook and Twitter at Talking Burritos. Um, hey, you can find Chris's podcast on SoundCloud, and it's called Speaking of Which. Yeah. I think you got episode one out. And I do have working the on one. The second episode is going to probably come out uh, probably later today. Exactly. Yeah. See, So go there and check that out. If you guys get this episode on Friday, then go check it out when he says later today. He meant later that day Friday. Okay, you guys? Probably. Or <laughs> you can tweet the Rupal at the Rupal, you know, if you guys want to hit, hit him up. See what he's doing, because I think he's recording his third one maybe tomorrow, oh, yeah, too. Yeah. So, Hopefully. you know, go there to sound SoundCloud, just look at look that up. Speaking of which, we're also on SoundCloud too. So if you gonna like him, like us, like him, like us all, and keep it in the family. Okay, you guys, that's been us and our podcast for this for today. We actually had something happen, but I'm gonna keep that to myself. Kisses. All right, that's a wrap, but not a burrito. <laughs>